Hi everyone, this is Always Apple FTD and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can downgrade any iPhone 5 or iPhone 5C to any iOS between the original iOS and iOS 9. So with that being said, let's get started. So the tool that we're going to be using in this video is called Nightshade. Now the process is pretty straightforward if you know what to do. And one thing that I really like about this tool is it doesn't require a lot of complicated commands. And you don't have to know all these complicated things to type. You only have to have the IPSW file and download the tool and then you're good to go. So with all this being said, let's get started. So the first step obviously is just to connect your iPhone to the computer with the USB cable. Wait till you see it charge at that. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to download the IPSW file for the version of iOS that you want to downgrade to. So to do that, you're just going to go to your web browser. I'm using Safari. And then you're going to want to type in this web address. IPSW. See, it's already putting it there for me because I've typed it in a lot. But And then it's .me. So just IPSW.me and then press enter. Now, if you typed it correctly, you should get this website here, IPSW Downloads. So just go to iPhone and just close all the ads if you get any. And then select your iPhone model. So like I said earlier, this will only work for the iPhone 5 and the 5C. So whichever model of iPhone 5, the 5 GSM or the global. I have an iPhone 5 C GSM, so I'm going to click on that one. Now, here's where you have to pay attention. So you can see the first section here is signed IPSWs. So signed IPSWs are IPSWs that can be restored anytime without any issues. So this one here is iOS 10.3.3. But if you scroll down, you'll get unsigned IPSWs. So unsigned means that Apple has stopped signing them, which means that they cannot be restored without a special downgrade tool, which is what we're using in this video. So pick your iOS version. And like I said, it has to be iOS 9 or lower. I'm not exactly sure why, but the tool doesn't seem to function on iOS 10 versions. But you probably don't want to downgrade to iOS 10 versions anyways, because the top iOS version for the iPhone 5 and 5C is already iOS 10. So you're probably not going to want to pick those. But So you can go from iOS 9.3.5 all the way down to iOS 7.0.1, which is the first available iOS version that was signed originally for the iPhone 5C. So I'm going to choose my iOS that I want to downgrade to. I'm going to choose iOS 8.0. And you can see it says the firmware is not signed. This means you cannot restore to an iTunes. Now when you restore an IPSW file on iTunes, iTunes automatically checks if it's signed or not. And if it's not, then it gives you an error. But if you have a speciality tool like Nightshade, then you can downgrade. It's basically a hack. So you're going to press download. So you can see in your download section, now the IPSW is downloading. So I do have pretty fast internet connections, so the megabytes go up pretty quickly. Looks like I have 5 minutes and 46 seconds remaining. Now depending on the speed of your internet connection, this can take a really long time. So you just want to be patient for this to download. And once it's done, you should be all good. But I'm going to fast forward this download, and then I'll be back when the download is completed. Okay, I'm back now. What, four seconds remaining? Now two seconds remaining. Okay, looks like the download completed. Here we have the restore IPSW. Okay. So now what we're going to do next is download the tool. So you're going to go to a new tab. And then there's two options for downloading the tool. You can go to the direct URL in here, or you can just Google the tool. Googling the tool might be easier for some people, but I'm going to share the direct URL. So what you want to type in is GitHub. So G I T h-u-b github and then dot com 
slash S Y N A C K U K. So that's Cinecuck, the developer of the tool. S Y N A C K U K slash N one G H T. So night, it's like night is spelled with the one and then shade, S H A D E. And then just hit enter. You should get this if you typed it correctly. There's the GitHub logo, and then it says Cinecuck slash Nightshade. So here's the tool. Now you just want to scroll down here and click on the Releases button here. So see how it says Releases? Just click on this V1.0. And then when you get this thing here, it says Nightshade.app.zip. Just press that. And then it should download up here. The tool will download. Now the app should download pretty quickly because it's only six megabytes. And then you're gonna close out of the browser. So now what you wanna do next is some people might get this error message when they try to open it and it says it's from an unidentified developer. I'm just gonna show you that if it does it for me. So you'll notice it'll say Nightshade is an app download from the internet, you should want to open it. If you get this message, just hit open. But most cases, when it's the first time somebody downloading this tool, they won't get this message, they'll get a different error. And I'm gonna show you how to fix that now because I've downloaded this tool before, so my computer already knows about this tool. But what you're gonna to wanna to do if you get that message, for me, I got the open option. Most of the times, it'll just be an okay button. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna go into system preferences settings icon in the dock, and then you're gonna press on security and privacy. So here, find that and then click on it. And then you'll get a message here. It'll say, Nightshade is from an unidentified developer and there'll be an open or allow button here. You just wanna click the open button and then you'll get a pop-up and then just click allow. Just for people who didn't understand it, I'm gonna give a short example of what you're gonna do. So for example, if I try to open this executable, then see how here you don't get an open option, you just get this OK button. It won't say open. So again, like I said, you go to System Preferences, and then Security and Privacy. And then you can see here, like I said, it's blocked from use because it's not from an identified developer. So see how there's an Open Anyway button? So you just hit that, and then you hit the Open button. That makes sense. Okay, so now that we've gotten through that issue, let's move on to the next step. You're going to want to open a new finder window. So just go to File, the New Finder Window, and then you click on the Applications thing here in the sidebar. Drag this, and then you're going to want to drag the Nightshade app into your Applications folder. And then you hear that sound, then it means it's copied over. So now we can go into our launch pad and then open up Nightshade. So you can see there's Nightshade. And then when you open it up, you're gonna get this. Welcome to Nightshade by Seneca. So we're gonna use this option later, the boot tethered. But you're gonna click on other, and then restore. And it says restore devices without SHSH blobs. So click on that. And then you're gonna click on select IPSW. And then you're gonna get this dialog window. So you're gonna select the downloaded IPSW which is the IPSW that you want to downgrade to. I have it here, the 8.0. Just open it. And then once it's open, you're gonna to wanna to enter DFU mode on your iPhone 5 or 5C. So here's the iPhone 5C here, and now I'm gonna walk you through how to enter DFU mode. So basically what you do, it's pretty simple. You just press and hold the home and power button for five seconds, and then release the power button and keep holding the home button for five more seconds. Now, in some cases, it might not turn off exactly after five seconds, after holding the home and power button for five seconds. So then in that case, you just wanna keep holding them until you see the screen go black. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna hold it. One, two, three, four, five. And then you can see it went black and then release the power button. One, two, three, four, five. Now you wanna wait for a pop-up on your computer there we go. You can see I got a pop-up on here. Now, if you get this error, that's okay. Most people shouldn't get that error, but it's harmless if you see that. It's not going to affect the downgrade at all. You should get a pop-up on your computer, though, that the, that the Mac detected the device. 
So now that you're here, you're just going to want to click on Start. And then you can see here it says Entering Pond DFU. You should get all this stuff here. If Finder pops up again, that's okay. You just have to close it. And then here it says Extracting File System from IPSW. Checking IPSW Cloud Components. Executing Commands. I'm just going to hold the phone here. And I'll show you. You're going to see the app logo. There it says Restoring Device. There, there we go. There's the Nightshade logo. And there we go. Now we're successfully restoring to iOS 8.0 on this iPhone. So I'm going to fast forward this process. And I'll be back with you when the phone is fully restored. I think I'm actually going to put the iPhone here. Okay, so as you can see, the restore is completed. You can see it says done there, status restore finished. Now, one thing that was a little bit annoying, I didn't know about Nightshade, must be a new update or thing, is you actually have to like keep scrolling up to see the progress. I'm not sure if you could tell I was doing that, but like you have to keep doing that with the mouse to see like what's going on. I'm not sure if that was because I scrolled down at some point, sometimes that can interfere with that. But yeah, for you, just one thing to check. If it doesn't look like it's moving, you can try to scroll up on the mouse and sometimes there'll be more stuff. I don't know why it did that. So if you see it into recovery mode like this, that's actually completely normal, which is totally okay. And the next step is what's going to fix that. So you're going to want to go back and then back one more time and then click on this boot tethered option. So boot tethered is going to boot this device into iOS 8.0. So I'm going to hit boot tethered. And then you don't have to mess with that at all, that dash V, and just hit start. And then we're going to enter DFU mode again. Hold home and power for five seconds. Release the screen, go back. Release the power button, keep holding the home button. Same process, exactly the same. Here you can see it says entering pawn DFU. We're going to see the text, executing payload, booting tethered. We have the Apple logo. There it goes. And you don't need to worry about any of that code. Unless it's a serious error or anything. It should all work fine. And there we go. We have an Apple logo with the bar. We skipped right over the recovery mode. You can see it's booting into iOS. That just jumped. So and wait for that bar to finish. And after that finishes, we should be into iOS. There we go. Looks like the bar is full. Phone just vibrated. And we should be on the hello screen. Really soon. There's the Apple logo. And there we go. We were successfully into iOS 8. It's slide to unlock. You can tell that it's iOS 8 because of the style of the notification that just came through about the SIM card. And you can also tell because of the slide to unlock because iOS 10 doesn't have that. Beautiful. Let's set up the device. And now one note that's actually interesting. I never mentioned this before, but this is actually the iPhone 5C that I bypassed in my last video. So because we restored the device, the device will be iCloud locked, but that's okay because we can just bypass it the same way we did easily that we did in the last video, and it will be good as new. So I'm going to skip over that whole bypassing thing since that was in my last video. You can see. All right. And if you're wondering how you can bypass it if it's locked, it's super easy. My last video shows exactly how to do that, and the process is exactly the same. So, fast forward this whole process. I'll be back when I'm done. And now once the bypass is done, your device will go back into recovery mode. 
just, okay, we're just gonna boot tethered again using nightshade. Using a reopen nightshade, boot tethered. Let's hit start. And boom, we are in the device. Look at that. We slide to unlock and we are on iOS 8. Let's check the iOS version. Going into settings. I just think this is so cool. We're gonna go to about. And look at that, iOS 8.0. We have successfully downgraded to iOS 8. Now personally, I think all the iOS versions are just super cool and rare, especially iOS 8 really beautiful you can see we have the red music icon and the older icons I'm not exactly sure why the wallpaper is white I'm not used to that so I'm gonna change that right now the standard iOS 8 wallpaper that everybody knows about you can funny you can even see the old iOS pop-up it's different look at that beautiful now i'm not exactly sure why it put the white wallpaper but this wallpaper now is the default wallpaper for ios 8. so that wraps up this video and i'm really happy to have a new iphone 5c on ios 8. if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and of course you can also subscribe to my channel if you want more content like this and if you had any issues along the way you can also comment down below and i'll try to help you out with it if i can so that's it for now and i'll catch you in my next video